Good afternoon from Los Angeles, California. I'm Dr. Ryan Ava. There are protests all over Iran. It looks like the regime is short on people to confront the protesters. We're seeing um, strange things like policemen wearing tattoos. Iranian police don't have tattoos. You're seeing things like little kids dressed up in riot gear. It all adds up to a question mark about what's going on with the security forces. Is it a sign simply that they're overstretched, or does it mean that the trained security forces are no longer trusted? It's led by women, these protests, because the point of departure is the mandatory hijab, the mandatory headscarf. But it's really about everybody being fed up with the whole system there and all kinds of corruption and income inequality and basically the heavy boot of the state. In the past, you're thinking of the big protests in Iran. It was after an election. It was like hundreds of thousands of people all in Tehran, a concentrated thing. This is bubbling up all over in it. It creates a strain on the security services who are asked to go into the streets and confront the protesters because they're everywhere. They gotta move here, there in this city, here, there in another, and they don't know where it's gonna bubble up next. You're, you're seeing things you don't normally see in response to a protests. You know, they're suiting up children in riot gear. They look like dressed up for Halloween or something, but they're placed on the street. And it, it's been done before, at least one other occasion where the, the state decides that it's better to have somebody out there with a uniform rather than nobody out there with a uniform. So they'll put little kids out, but it kind of reeks of desperation and understaffing. Some people have said that they were actually wards of the state, might have been like in a children's home. There has been also recruitment in high schools. The speculation is the regime is going to areas, uh, neighborhoods and schools where they know that they can rely on people who will support the regime and that their trained and staff people are maybe a little iffy. If you're in the security forces in Iran, you're not allowed to have any ink on your skin. You can't have a tattoo. Tattoos are seen in Iran as a sign of Western decadence. So to have a photo of, you know, in police uniform, and you can see he's got a tattoo in a visible place on his wrist, that's seen as significant. Like, this guy isn't a regular cop. They're, they're, they're scraping the bottom of the barrel. They're, they're bringing people in who wouldn't normally be accepted as police officers, which means they're shorthanded. There's an elite force that wears, the, they're like ninja. They they, they go like, that's, what, that's not what we're looking at in that photo. Those are like maybe Basiji or some kind of regular guys. They're clearly kind of tired and resting, but they're wearing masks, which means they don't want to be identified, which means what? Well, who's going to, no, it's, the state isn't going to prosecute them. They're there to enforce the state's will. So they're worried about being recognized, which says something. So it's probably in a place that's small enough that they could be recognized, but you're also seeing circulated by protesters and dissidents, images of plainclothes people, especially security officials who are being videoed as they're supervising, and then they're being threatened on social media saying, you're a dead man walking. So that's a level of boldness um, that, that we hadn't seen. And it may be part of what why these guys, some of these guys are wearing face masks. It's clear that there are more irregular forces uh, more untrained forces doesn't mean that they can't, that the regular forces are not trusted anymore because they might not be willing to shoot a lot of people in the street. They might not go to a Tiananmen Square situation where you just make an example and kill a thousand people and scare everyone into their houses and tamp it all down that way. Or is it not that way? You're seeing protests in places you never saw protests before. Places where the militia people would come from, the backbone of the regime in terms of the population. So if they're actually becoming the protesters or if their neighborhood is producing a significant number of protesters, it tells you something's going on in that society and that this regime may be being undermined uh, at its base. It may be losing its base. We don't know, but it's, it's, it's a curious thing. To support my work, please click the subscribe, the like button, and the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my new videos.